Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be going over a quick and easy uh, tutorial on how to use the angle tool in Lightroom to straighten your images and just make them look a lot, a lot better. So they're going to come, this tool is going to come in handy a lot uh, for landscapes and even portraits, you know, really depending on maybe some things you have uh, around the model or in the background that look misaligned. Uh, with that said, it's a really easy tool. You'll see a huge benefit from using it and um, we'll just sort of get into it here. So the first photo that I'm going to show you is, um, you know, I have the model sort of staring out into the distance. We got some cool rocks, we got some surfers, but you can see here that the horizon just is completely angled one way. Uh, I do not like how that looks. Um, I've sort of misaligned it on purpose to show you the, the overall point of this. But if I had taken this photo and then I brought it back into Lightroom, I would then click on the crop overlay. And you'll see here we have the angle tool. We can play with the slider, but the easiest thing to do is actually just click this. And then you'll see that we get to now select a level, right? A ruler of sorts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it from one side of the image. And then I'm just going to draw straight across the horizon. And I did a little bit lower, so I'll do it a little bit under. And I'll do it right about there. Then I'll just align my model in the middle of my frame there. Rule of thirds, right? I'll push it down a little bit. Click enter. Boom. You can see here now this photo looks a lot a lot better now that we've aligned the horizon to be straight we've put the model in the middle we followed our rule of thirds um, overall just major major improvement in the photo with just 30 seconds of of clicking around um, the second photo that we'll go through here is um, you can see here another sort of portrait shoot and we have some stuff here on the left that i really don't want to see right we have the background we have a car light um, i want to get rid of this and First thing you could do is say, well, I can crop it, right? I can just crop it here and maybe you're fine with that. But I don't want to do that. I actually want to first align it. So to compare them, I'm actually going to click the command button and then the uh, quotation key. And I'm going to duplicate the photo. And on the second one, I'm going to go to my crop overlay. I'm going to hit my angle tool. And then again, I'm going to make a straight line where I want it to be angled. So I think right about there. And you can see here already, right, this looks a lot different. The structure is now looking straight, which is how I want it to look. And then now I'm going to drag this in like I would with any other sort of alignment here. I'll get this closer to my rule of thirds. Uh, move it down a little bit, just make sure I don't cut off the feet. And you can see here, you know, we could still play around with it. Let me type A is coming out here. Let's see. Let's do probably... That's fine. So let's do 40. Yeah, awesome. There you go. Make sure we don't cut off our shoes. And here. So this image looks way, way better uh, than it did before, right? If we compare it to what we have here, we'll do them side by side. Let's put this one here. my computer is going a little bit slow but you can see here just what a huge difference it was when we used the angle tool we first sort of this misalignment of the building um, the, the foundation there and then now to this one where it's straight um, you know it just looks a lot better a lot cleaner things actually look angled the way they're supposed to with the street and things in the background um, so enough rambling uh, I hope that this tutorial uh, was useful to you the angle tool is going to be something major if you're somebody who likes to shoot landscapes, horizons, or even in this case, as you saw, portraits. Um, so follow the Instagram at beauty is wild with two eyes. Uh, the website, armandouriva.smugmug.com. Uh, like, comment, subscribe really helps the channel out. And if you want me to cover something specifically, leave, uh, leave it in the comments down below. And, I'll, and uh, I look forward to doing a full sort of Lightroom tutorials on all the little tools that are hidden in here. So with that said, have a good one and I'll see you guys soon.